guys, so for those of you that have noticed, I haven't posted in a long time. I just need to get that out there. It's obvious. <laughs> it's been, I think, about four or five months. And that is simply because I committed to too much too fast, I think. And I ended up burning myself out. Not just with YouTube, but also with um, all the different writing projects that I'd been going on. Yeah, I just never really gave myself a good chance to settle in to recover from the craziness that was last year from getting married to moving states twice it was a big year and so i needed a little bit of time to just breathe <laughs> and so now that i've had that i feel like i'm at a place where i can slowly introduce youtube back in because this is something that i love like obviously i love talking about books my plan now is to not do anything too too crazy probably once a month videos, just because I feel like that's what I can commit to right now. And then if it ends up being more, great. I thought I would just take you guys along for a day in the life of an aspiring author. Most of the other days I'm working and then also doing homework. I've got my computer open. I've been working a little bit already. Obviously this morning I had a little bit slower. I woke up, made some coffee, opened up all the windows because it's beautiful outside. I think it's gonna rain and I really, really hope it does because a nice cozy day. So it's incredible. Hoping for rain. So I'm just going to get started on some homework. I also want to get some reading done. The start of this year has also been really difficult in my reading, I guess. I've been coming out of a book slump too, which is another reason <laughs> that I haven't posted in a while. I guess I, in my mind, I associated that if I was going to be reading, I had to be making a YouTube video about it, which is not true. And I would definitely still want reading to be like a hobby that I can just do and not have to turn my brain on and think about creating something just because of the nature of like writing and all that stuff. Like I'm constantly creating something. So having that little bit of space where I can just not think about that is nice. But I'd been reading yesterday, Everyone is Beautiful by Catherine Centers and I wanted to like it so bad. I wanted to love it because I think there's a lot of stuff in it where it has potential to be really great. I just couldn't get into it. I just couldn't, I didn't like the main character very much. I found myself reading it and just being like, oh, like, I don't know. I think it was just the way that they portrayed marriage. It wasn't the way that I want my marriage to be. The main character, she was like going to the gym and then there's this guy that's like always checking her out. And it's not like she's like gonna have an affair. Like she like, it's like, oh, I don't even like him. But it is nice to be liked and admired. And I'm like, but that, I feel like to me, that just feels like it's just opening the door for anything else to like be unfaithful, all the things. It just wasn't it for me. And so I was halfway through the book and I just decided to just put it away. And I didn't really love any of the characters. I wasn't super attached to any of them. I just had to just put it down because I wasn't having a good time and I didn't want to restart my book slump. So I started because of Win Dixie last night. For those that don't know, I love middle grade. I write middle grade. Middle grade is never gonna be something that I stop reading even though I'm 20 years old. It's so good, it's so wholesome. It makes me just so happy. It gives me all the warm, cozy feelings that I love. I need to stop talking and I need to get some editing done because um, for those of you that follow my Instagram, I did submit my novel to um, an editor back in, I think October or November. And um, so I got my edit letter back obviously a while ago. There was, there's been some extensive edits that I've been working through along with a project um, with a short story that I'm excited about. Hopefully that will be something that you guys will be able to read soon. Lots of fun writing updates. I'm also gonna start working on drafting my query letter today. For those that don't know, a query letter is what you send out to agents to represent you in your story. It feels like I'm finally on the cusp of like, I could actually, I could do this thing, you know? So. That's super exciting. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna dive right in. surprise I'm now making my afternoon a cup of coffee so I thought I would just kind of give a little update on the day also I we buy honey literally this big from H-E-B it's the best because we both use honey as sweeteners in our coffee which I know some people think is kind of weird but I've literally done that for several years ever since me and my friend went to this coffee shop in Florida where they serve salted honey lattes. So 
yeah, that is just my go-to now. And I do put my own little bit of salt in there. I've gotten all my like main work for the day done. The only thing that I have left to do is, is to make a post for my Instagram. After that, um, I'm so excited because I'm gonna just have a lot of time to read and to just really knock out a lot of pages. I, like I said, been struggling on my book goal for the year. I had set my goal to 40 and honestly I was still gonna try to reach that goal but then whenever I did my book journal like books I read this year spread I only had room for 36 so I decided that was my sign to change my book goal and to make it just more attainable for myself. So I've done that and also I've been loving using the Libby app where you can use your library card to listen to audiobooks for free. And so the book that I've been listening to right now is The Personal Librarian, which is so good. It's like the story of JP Morgan's librarian back in the time where they had all the Jim Crow laws and everything. And she's actually, and she is a black woman, but her skin is light enough that she's able to like just pass as white and so her mom basically changes their whole identity like of their family so that they can live as whites in New York. There's obviously a lot of controversy around that from her family and everything like that and it's so interesting to read like the character's own, what's the word, inner conflict with this decision that her mom made and that she's chosen to like follow along with. Such an interesting read for her to like live this life that she wouldn't otherwise have to live and like all the high stakes of like, what if somebody finds out? The audiobook's also been a lot of fun to just listen to while I'm cleaning or doing other things. Um, I'm also gonna be making a little treat for our game night tonight that we're doing with some friends. So that'll be fun. They're called Magic Brownies. We grew up making them with my family. And it's literally just graham crackers, chocolate chips, and sweetened condensed milk. You mash it up. So it's kind of almost like a s'mores bar minus the marshmallows. They're super easy to make. You literally just mash up graham crackers. You put sweetened condensed milk in it with chocolate chips. And, but then it turns into like this yummy little dessert bar. Super yummy. shower but I'm about halfway through because of Win Dixie. This is a super quick read. If I wasn't doing anything today I definitely could just read it in one sitting but it's super cute. I love reading about India's relationship with Gloria Dump and just all the cute little things going on in the town and the scenes in the pet shop are just so sweet. I'm loving this book so far. I feel like right now I'm getting really solid four star feels. Yeah anyways um we're about to go over to a friend's house and then I'm gonna come back and depending on the time I might read or I might just pick it back up tomorrow and finish it out so we'll see it is the next day it's Saturday <laughs> and I have been continuing to read because of Winn-Dixie um, this morning I've been just like running around the house doing some different chores and is it's now lunchtime and I'm so hungry and we have literally no food in the house. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say that, we have nothing to make. So I'm in the line 
for Panera right now and I'm just gonna get a cream cheese bagel before I go grocery shopping because that seems like the best case scenario right now. But as far as because of when Dixie I'm on chapter 15, almost page 100 and it's so good. I just love so much the way that middle grade can tackle such heavy themes. <laughs> Okay, so I finished Because of Winn-Dixie and it's so good. It has such a good heart. Part of me almost wishes that it was like a little bit longer because the font is huge and the pages aren't very big and even so it's only 182 pages. Obviously like it's such a classic. It has the Newbery Honor Award. <laughs> My only complaint is that I wish there was more of it because it's so good and I love Indiana Opal. The exploration of her relationship with her dad and all these other people in the town. I just... I love it so much and when it was over I like didn't want to leave and there's not a second book or anything so but I love this book so much I would say it's probably four stars I would say five I haven't continually like thought back to it after I finished it honestly it might it's definitely a high four so like maybe 4.25 4.5 definitely recommend yeah I also finished the personal librarian on audiobook and that book I would say is probably a solid three stars. It was really good and it was so interesting to listen to. Just look up the trigger warnings before you start it. And you know, there were some kissing scenes that would lead to other things, but <laughs> I don't think that it ever went into detail. I don't know. I, anytime I, those scenes would come, I would just, you know, there's like the little um, like skip ahead 10 to like 30 seconds button. I would just beep 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 until I was like, okay, it's done. And I that didn't really take away from the whole experience because if there was ever something important that happened, they would kind of recap or like recircle back around to that. So after I finished, I was like, yeah, it's just three stars. So it's still a really good book and I definitely recommend people listen to it just because there was so much about like JP Morgan in the Morgan Library and about Belle de Costa Green that I had no idea even happened. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys next month for another video. Thank you so much for joining me for my little day in the life. See you later.